to the Neverwinter Nights 2 original campaign. We are in tier with Aaron Ginn and Linu. And um, what's her name? Arabeth has gone missing. And this guy doesn't have much that I can actually use. So. And we're already under attack. Really? I hope you like pain. Black Knives Infiltrator. Yeah, turn into a wear rat. That'll help you. You might you might save the uh, spell casting. We knew. I mean, you're doing quite a bit. Oh, we're good. Bloody hand assassin. So the black knives are the were rats. So much for uh, that. These guys are sound funny when they die. They have the Wilhelm scream. They die with the Wilhelm scream. Oh, uh, it's gonna bother me. Yo, I really should. Put on the funny hat. Yeah. Okay. Uh huh. So I can be back to being immune to uh, that mind control. Okay. Right now, I'm just exploring the uh, this outside. And getting attacked by things. Oh, sling plus two. That's money. And she just saw. Oh, black knife. Get him. There's a sapphire. Nothing, nothing, and a sapphire. And lots of dead bodies. This is a tower. This is one of the entrances to one of the uh, people. Earth's quarter. Okay. Let's go look at the other guy's side. I want to clear this up. up stair the uh, surface before I get down to uh... what is this place oh what is this place slum building Barum's mercenary uh. 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 Where rats, of course. Well, that was great. Circle kick and then cleave. <laughs> well, they just broke in here and killed this person. 
They're just doing whatever they want. Not not too much better. Oh, I killed all these people. This isn't going deeper into their thing, is it? check something here. Uh, duh, 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 duh. I may have stumbled onto one of the side quests. Success is not possible. Mm -hmm. You are wrong. As soon as I find my, uh, I'm gonna keep these out here. I think. Okay. Let's unlock this. Oh, I forgot to set a timer. Let's see. Portal. Um, well, this is lovely. Sneak attack, sneak attack. you go. Is Lino still on the other side? Okay, that's going to take a... That's going to take a little bit of effort. That's the belt. AC bonus plus one deflection, which I think I already got from somewhere. And you get resi resistance to, um, you get vulnerability to um, piercing damage, which there will be a lot of with all the rogues flying about here. So I don't think so. Success not possible. Hmm. 
We'll see about that. Wonder why oh the some of the one of the the uh one of the rats must have triggered the uh Hey it was a trap. Okay, that was weird. I'm not even sure what that was about. Exit and portal. Uh, if I get asked about a uh, Temple of Bane later, or I'll know what's going on. Just sort of stumbled into that. Okay. Rune Hammer Smithy Mercantile Store. Ah, Galron's home. Not sure I chose the right one. Then again, I may have. I greet you. If you, there was still a god in this city, I would have you arrested. Why are you here? Calm down. I don't mean you any harm. I suppose I am just not accustomed to visitors in these times. Either way, you were not invited. So what is it that you would like from me exactly? I would like to speak to you about Yvette's baby. I see. Her baby, is it? The child happens to be my blood as well, as much as I loathe, am loath to admit it. Fathering the girl upon that whore, I'll tell you the same thing I told her. I am not going to give their child up. I will not have that woman returning later with this child and laying claim to anything of mine. Besides, that brothel is no place for any blind blood of mine. Yvette does not intend to raise the child in the brothel. Perhaps that's what she told you. I wouldn't trust any word coming out of her mouth. Be reasonable. Maybe we could work out some kind of deal. A deal, is it? Very well. Let's see how badly she wants her bastard back, whether she can afford it. I've lost most of my wealth since this war began. You give me thousand gold pieces, you can bring have the child. Everyone wins. Fine, thousand gold. Very well. I really doubt that witch can repay you what you've given me, but that's your choice. At any rate, since the child's governess died, raising the beast has been an interminable hassle. Give me a moment, I'll retrieve the child from where I've hidden her, just in case thugs like yourself barged in my home again. Here she is, then. Take her and be gone. If that winch knows what's good for her, she'll leave and I won't see her again. You are a bastard. Paranoia and terror seem to dominate the features of this older man. Older man. Okay. Item Yvette's baby. Okay. Yeah moderately creepy. Let's go to the wink and take tickle and take care of that. There is a baby in my inventory. Where was Yvette? Around here somewhere. She's up on the second floor. Yoreth's Yvette's room. Okay, right back here by Oreth. Hmm. 
Well, hello to you. I have your baby with me. You found her. Oh, thank you, thank you. How did you ever manage to convince Galron to give her? Oh, I don't care. All that matters is I have her back once more. My gold doesn't seem enough of a reward, but it's all I have to give you. I can spare 500 gold pieces. I hope that's enough. No. Um, do keep your gold for the baby. It was my pleasure. Are you sure, madam? You earned the gold after all. The baby and I can make do. And sure, in fact, have 250. Take it and be safe. You are so generous. I don't know what to say. Bless you, my lady. I shall remember your kindness always. I have to go. Miss Bela arranged for someone to take us out of the city. Start our lives anew. Thank you again. Awesome. I have... Bonjour. Do you have any work I might find? Herb or Yvette? Okay. What does Herb have that he wants done? How sweet! Well, now, call me a halfling, but I actually have a job you could do for me. A little errand that is a mite dangerous to perform with the streets the way they are. Tell me the job. Well, how shall I explain this? Well, one of my clients, a handsome old noblewoman by the name of Lady Jadale, has something that belongs to me. Technically, I suppose it belongs to her, since I gave it to her, but I want it back. That's a ring, a little favor that I bestowed upon her that has my name inscribed. Just get it away from her and back in my hands, and I'll be a happy little no. Can't you just buy it from her? Why do you need the ring? Oh, well, you see, gift was a bit of an impetuousness on my part. Lady Jadel's husband is a rather powerful man. In fact, I forgot at the height of passion. When Lord Jadel returns, I don't need his wife sporting my wing. He's rather renowned for his temper, and I'm rather fond of my legs, short though they may be. Lady Jadel is, shall we say, rather oblivious to the fact that her husband might not be too fond of me when he discovers the ring. She has less sense than an elf in a shoe store, I tell you. Hey! Oh, I'm sure you're you're perfectly reasonable in a shoe store, Miss Lanaru. So are you interested in the job? Whoever brings the ring to me will be well rewarded, I assure you. And she doesn't buy it from the oh, the lady was overjoyed when I gave her the present, quite angry when I asked for it back. She says she's quite fond of the ring, fonder than she is of me at present. Okay, I'll do it. Excellent, you'll find Jadel's home not far from here. Go back towards the city gates and turn right. You should see the Cutlass Inn by South Walls. Lady Jadale's home is just west of the end. Okay, goodbye. Okay. Why, hello there, darling. Come for a bit. Okay. Let's head back this way. Slums, Galron's home. Piles of skulls. Sniper. I always get my way. Are you aware, Rat, too? I thought. If this were three point five, I would need this. I would need the silver. Okay. Ah, uh, da da da. Oh, how about that? Okay. I greet you! You won't be allowed across the bridge without authorization, citizen. Please step away. Okay. One more place to look before I start delving into places.
What's my journal? It's a magical seal. We're in the sewers. Okay. Gregor, honey hats that you have. Barum's quarter. Cutlass. City gates. Jadale's estate. Welcome to my home. Is there something I can do for you? Could I ask you some questions? Sigh, you come into my room to question me. All right, go ahead. I want to speak to you about Herb's ring. You know about the ring Irby gave me? Oh, Irby must have sent you, I guess. Well, I don't want what he think what he's asking is very fair. Irby's just being silly. He gave me this ring because he loves me. I'm not giving it back because that hasn't changed. Be reasonable. Let's talk about this, shall we? Talk about what? I don't think there's anything to discuss. How about the fact that you've broken Section 12 of Luskin's gift receiving code? You must be joking. I've never... You've never... I've never heard of such a thing. Uh, yes, just a joke. But what about your husband? Oh, if you didn't notice it at all, at first he would have to come home. Irby's just overreacting. Why do you think Irby wants his ring back? Oh, I don't know. Maybe he loves me so much that it scares him. Irby is sweet. He's frightened of your husband. You want him to get hurt? Well, no, of course I don't want... Well, Irby th must be since you won't return the ring. I don't want Irby thinking back. No, oh, all right, all right, give him back his ring. Just a moment. Here, take it and go. I'm sure we don't have anything else to discuss. Section 12 of the gift-giving code. Seriously? Wow. I wonder if that would have really worked if I had pressed it. Probably would have, but I don't have that high in the regards of uh, well I have decent persuade I don't have that high charisma though okay that's Barum's quarter we are taking out both high captains that actually is long term probably not the best idea now that I think about it it leaves nobody to challenge the host tower but then again, it also leaves the host tower exposed. Hmm. I wonder if this will re in bring up what. Uh, How goes the search? Tell me you have the ring. My third toe has been itching like my. How did you ever manage to convince the woman to give it up? Never mind, I probably don't want to know. As my blind Aunt Biddy said, when she married her unfortunate old Uncle Bucktooth, ignorance is bliss, bliss. I seem to recall some mention of reward. Of yes, of course, so I did say that, didn't I? Never let it be said that Irby, Irby reneged on a promise. Unlike my poor, deranged, thrice married Aunt Fanny. Hmm, where was I? Oh, yes, here's 500 gold pieces for the ring. It wasn't easy to get this, you know. I think you could spare a little more. I suppose you probably do deserve something extra. I don't imagine Lady Jadell was all that pleasant to deal with. When she gets excited, she's a bit pluckier than a griffin without its tail feathers. Here's another hundred gold pieces. Now just take my leave for a brief while in case Lady Jadell tries to look me up or worse. It's really a good thing gnomes are short and easy to hide. Farewell, my friend. Let's see if Rain is still still um, saying go away, go away. No, but these... Well, hello to you. 
Hello to you. I told you to leave me be. Go on, get out. Get out of here. Oh, get out of here was the noble. He was busy with the escort right now. Okay. I wonder what's here. It's going to be another noble one or mercenary with another escort, isn't it? Brothel guard dog. Uh, before it notices me, I'm closing that door. Um, I don't want to kill it. I could kill it quite easily, but I don't want to. Okay. No, 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 I don't want to go that way. These are some very, very short um, side missions. Let's go deal with that contrabulator. What is this? Those are cursed men. Nice, Linu. Very nice. Okay. Let's see if this crate is locked. It is not. It is. Okay. Billy. Slum building. It is locked and it had a trap on it. Okay, on to the next uh, video. See you in a little bit.